Hello everyone, I'm James and I'm here to go over a four month review with my 2021 Honda Ridgeline. I'm gonna go over the add-ons I've done, uh, my thoughts of ownership for the past four months, uh, and let you know if you know I'm enjoying it or if I'm not. So let me go ahead and just turn this around so that you can see my truck. All right, so I'm gonna go over some things here on the inside of the Ridgeline. Um, so as you can see, <clears throat> I'm at 4,426 miles, 4,426 miles. Um, once again, this is a four month ownership. Got it back in end of May. Um, so this is my view. And just as a reminder, I did tint the front windshield um, just want you to see how it looks this is a 35% tint with the 5% strip up on top my side windows are 20% uh, I'm sorry yeah 20% and then it gets darker in the back with the 15% so that's what 15% looks like down to 20 and I did 35% up front and that's what my view looks like <clears throat> it is not as dark as you would think um, especially obviously in the sunlight uh, but at night I mean look at this is the 20 so that you're going from there to there um, at night it's a little bit darker but I can still see and I don't have great vision um, I see perfectly fine at night and the only reason I did is because here in Florida, the heat can get very intense. <clears throat> and with a black vehicle, black interior, I just wanted a little bit more sh protection and I'm very happy with it. Um, is it for everyone? Probably not, but <clears throat> I like it. There's Mr. Darth. Um, so once again, this is the Ridgeline Sport. Um, many will say that this is the base model. I don't think of it as a base model because it comes with so many extras. Uh, I like to think of it more of a, as an entry level into the Ridgeline lineup. With this, with the Sport model, um, you get the, un under the, Right there under the dashboard down towards the floorboard you get red ambient light on both sides on both sides so right over the pedals and right over the passenger floor mat you're gonna have red ambient lights that automatically light up at night and you get a nice little red glow you also get a red glow from here that will illuminate this area here slightly nothing major just a nice little red ambience that comes from it so that'll light up a little bit red in there and then right over petals <coughs> So, one of the other reasons I ended up picking the Ridgeline over the Toyota Tacoma and the Ford Ranger was right there. The AC vents. So, you guys say this is a base. Most base vehicles do not come with AC, rear AC vents. 
and a rear AC controller for your passengers in the back seat. So that was one good reason that I ended up choosing the Ridgeline. My, I have two little ones, and although we use the Odyssey for most family outings, uh, when they when they do have to ride with me, they want that AC in the back. And see, you even have a rear on and off for the AC. So when I'm by myself, obviously it's off, but when I'm with them, I can turn it on and they get cooled off from this crazy heat that we get. For those of you that may not know, that is the um, auto off button or the off button for the vehicle not to shut off at the red lights to conserve gas. I always turn it off. I don't have it off now because I'm parked, but <clears throat> I usually turn it off because it's kind of annoying to me. Another um, feature that the sport has along with all the other ones is your lane keep assist. Obviously it's got one traction control. It's got your cargo light for the bed. And it's got the uh, forward collision warning. Um, and then you also have your econ button. So the econ button. In the four months that I've owned the truck, I have not used it. I ended up using it for a good solid week, a um, couple weeks ago, just to see. And I was, for some reason, with that on, I ended up getting about 19 miles per gallon. <coughs> Without it, as you could see, I'm at 21.2, um, and I'm usually I'm usually at 22. So I, I must have been giving a little bit more gas than normal. But um, for some reason, with the econ, I was not saving as much as I should. So I just drive without it, and I didn't like the slag response on it with it on so that's your econ mode so i keep it off i don't think it's worth worth it <clears throat> maybe on the highway it'll be worth it but for my local commute it's not worth it seats let's talk seats the seats are very comfortable um and I think they're very cool looking. Look at the stitching. It's got white stitching on the fabric. And it's got this nicer two-tone look to it with a little bit more ruggedness, um, cloth fabric in the middle, and smoother here on the sides and armrest. Now the armrests are a little small. I agree with that. I've seen a lot of comments about the armrest. Yeah, I agree. But they serve their purpose. Um, I'm still getting used to these buttons. Sometimes I forget to put it in park. So I have to keep reminding myself, look for the red light. Uh, so just get some getting used to and the armrest on the doors they're like a leather material with the white stitching I wish this was on the armrest and I am searching for covers that'll match that so I can add at least 
the leather to this, to the armrest, to match the doors. And it's on both front and back. Because <clears throat> I think that's a nice touch. But I don't want leather seats, so I'm happy with my cloth seats. Another good point, if you're shopping around for a mid-sized truck, the Ford Ranger and the Tacoma do not have the center armrest for your rear passengers. Don't know why. Even if you get the upgraded leather interior on those two vehicles, you will not get the center armrest. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I take that back. Maybe the Ford Ranger has it. I know the Tacoma doesn't on any of their trims because my nephew has one. But that was another selling point for me. I never have three people in the back. So um, when I do have two passengers, it's nice for them to have the option of having the armrest. <clears throat> All right, and as I mentioned, I have upgraded the interior lights to LED. You got your sunglass holder here. By the way, they sell the mirror for this. If you want to add the mirror. However, I found it online for about $50. I think that's too much. Um, so it's staying like that. <clears throat> you got your vanity mirrors on both passenger and driver but there's no light I don't care I added a wide rear view mirror that's not the one that comes with it obviously I just like a wider view and that's how it looks from the inside with the visors on it's a good point if you want to see what it looks like So guys, that's it for the interior. And we're gonna go to the outside now. Uh, before we go outside, um, let's talk about the head unit, the radio. It is what it is with the radio. Um, is it great? No. Is it bad? No. It's just right. One of my pet peeves with this head unit is the connection uh, to Apple CarPlay. Sometimes it'll connect seamlessly without any issues and sometimes it won't connect at all. So you have to, you know, disconnect, reconnect, sometimes even turn off the car and turn it back on. So. <clears throat> That's the biggest pet peeve with it. Does it sound good? It's decent. I mean, you have, you know, your little tweeters. Um, you got the four speakers and, you know, two in the front, two in the back. And you also get um, a subwoofer that's in the back. Is it great? No, not really. But it gives you that extra little based um, to enjoy some of the you know different types of music that you know you're you would be into as I mentioned I had a 18 Accord Sport um, same, same same head unit but it did not have that that um, uh, subwoofer box 
and that one it was all treble and highs you didn't you barely got any bass out of the music with this one at least um, you could get that bit of uh, bass and beats in the music that you listen to so I'm happy with it it would could be a lot better in my younger years I would put my own 10 or 12 inch woofers in the back with some amplifiers to really make it sound good but for an entry level truck it sounds just fine so that is my feedback on the radio once the Apple CarPlay is working it's great you know you get your maps on there um, your navigation everything so I'm happy with that now let's go ahead and go outside all right guys so this is the 2021 Honda Ridgeline and uh, as you all may know by now this is the refresh and it has the new front more of a boxy end of it um, so it's not sloped like it used to be and that is one of the main reasons that I decided to purchase the Ridgeline. I was in the market for a mid-sized truck and um, I had two other options which were the Ford Ranger and Toyota Tacoma. Uh, luckily I had the opportunity to get hands-on with the Tacoma because my nephew bought one and uh, although it was very nice, um, there was just some features of the Ridgeline that when I got to see it in person is what um, made my decision and I'll um, explain here in a little bit. So let me go and let's start with the add-ons that I've done to my uh, 21 Ridgeline. As you may have noticed, I've uh, added the US flag. It's a distressed black mat um gotten a lot of interesting remarks uh from you know forums and facebook posts uh from ridgeline groups but you know that's okay everyone has their own opinion um i personally love it um i am a veteran so i wanted to that was one of the first things I wanted to put on my truck, no matter what truck it was, um, because I've seen them on Jeeps, I've seen them on other trucks, on the hoods, and I thought it looks very cool. I think it looks cool, so I'm happy with it. That's what counts. Um, and it's uh, hood scoops, just vanity hood scoops, carbon fiber. Uh, once again, not everyone's taste, but like it. I've also added here, this here is the bug guard. And since my truck is black, it's very hard to see from far. You have to really look at it to notice that there is a bug guard, but it serves its function. And that's what I want here in Orlando, Florida. We get a lot of love bugs. During, throughout different seasons and I always like to have a bug guard on my vehicles um, other thing I did which you're not going to be able to see but the high beams here come halogen I upgraded them to LED so now when I have my daytime running lights go on they're a nice crisp white LED look instead of that yellowy halogen lights and I've also heard and, uh, from others that some prefer the yellow halogen, I do not. Um, so that's it for the front that I've added. Let's move over to the side. And I've added a couple of things on the side. Let's start with the wheel. With the wheels. 
added the red Honda Cat and the sport decal. I think it gives the wheel a little pop. I've gotten some positive comments on that, so it makes me feel good. Um, up on top in the windows, I added the Well Visor brand window vent visors. These are stick on. It's kind of cool. You see here, it's like a black chrome. So it sticks with the theme of the blackout look that I'm going with. Once again, another vanity touch. I added the uh, skull there with the red. I added the red pinstripes in the back so that it had the red eyes. That's just one of my personal touches there. And I added the carbon fiber faux vent guard, uh, vent um, side vents to match the, the hood scoop. I think it looks good for now. And in the back, I added the North Mountain roll up to new cover. lot of really good feedback on this cover um, which is what helped me make my decision I was interested in the, um, the OEM hard folding cover um, that's what my nephew has on his Tacoma he has the hard folding cover and is very nice but one of the main features that I that made me pick the Honda Ridge line, as most of you will know, is the in-bed trunk. So I really don't need to, you know, I don't use my truck for work. This is more just my personal means of transportation, but to and from work. So I don't use it as a work truck. But what made my decision of picking the ridge line was the in-bed trunk. I love it. And if you can see, I'm starting my sticker collection and that's where all my stickers are going from places I go, my teams. If you go on vacation now, I'm picking out little stickers just to put them in there. Um, so I went with the soft top because I really don't need to protect anything in there um, as you can see the trunk still opens with it but if I want to um, just roll this up it takes a few seconds um, so that's the North Mountain cover purchased this from Amazon it took about 20 minutes to install by myself after seeing some videos out there of showing how to install it I've just looked at watched the videos took their lead and very simple to install so that will cover the exterior One major mod that I'm uh, that will be coming soon will be the level lift here. So I want to put the 1.5 inch lift in the front to level it out with the rear. That's the next major mod. So when we go inside, I add it the carbon fiber with the red ridge line logo for the door sill and I added the 
WeatherTech floor mats. I'm very happy with these. The inside is still mainly stock. And I call my truck Vader. So I had to put my little figure there to go with the theme. Here in the back, same thing. Added the carbon fiber nothing much to look at here other than the WeatherTech mats that go straight across. Once again, very, very happy with these. I highly recommend them. So, let me do a quick walk around. Of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline Sport. Guys, thank you very much for subscribing, taking some time out of your busy days to watch my videos. Um, I've done some how-tos and I've gotten some positive feedback and I appreciate that. I forgot to mention that I did change out the uh, reverse lights to LEDs. Huge improvement, I highly recommend that for everyone. And also in the inside, I forgot as well that I changed all the interior lights to LED as well. <coughs> so once again, thank you again for watching. Um, so let me just give you a quick rundown. I am enjoying this truck. It drives great. Um, I wish it drove a little bit more trucky like but you know you you have the best of both worlds i think you get it to drive like an suv certain times it'll drive a little trucky if you hit some bumps you do get that trucky feel um and you know once again i didn't want a full-size truck i don't need it it's just for me to go back and forth to work and home but I did want something cool uh, the only thing I do miss on this truck is uh, I wish it had a sunroof um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up doing if I'm going to take the risk of adding a aftermarket one or I may get crazy and just see what Honda comes out in the next couple of years with the Ridgeline and upgrade it to one that comes with a sunroof. But I hate leather, especially here in Florida. It's too hot. My wife's Odyssey has leather and I hate getting in there in the summers. Um, so that's one of the reasons I picked the Sport, although I knew I was giving up the sunroof that I enjoy in the cool this slight cool weathers that we get every now and then but um, I um, we will see if I get crazy enough and take the risk of adding a sunroof and obviously if I do you will be the first to find out so am I satisfied with the truck yes Definitely, I love driving it. I came from a 18 Accord Sport, and although that car was fun to drive, very peppy, sport-like, I'll take this truck anytime. I love the way it drives, um, and the feel, it's got a good height to it. Um, 
I'm just satisfied. I've had a, no issues. I'm at 4,400 miles in four months. Um, what else? Yeah, no issues. I, there's nothing I can talk about on that. And still haven't had the had to take it in for its first oil change. It'll be coming up soon. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you. If I could answer any questions, please feel free to let me know. I uh, appreciate you watching. And as I get other mods coming, I will post them and share them with all of you. Thank you again. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.